sure you've encountered the situation where you've been on an excursion, you know, you're out and about, everything's kind of going all right, but you just feel like something isn't where like it's supposed to be. Something isn't right, you got an uneasy feeling in your stomach, and then it happens. Things go wrong. That's exactly what happened to me in Jamaica. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Josh Hokum back again today to tell you all about uh, my time in Jamaica that I, I felt like I was going to get kidnapped. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I, the thought crossed my mind there once or twice. The story goes like this. So this was back at the beginning of the year. Uh, we were on board the beautiful MSC Seaside and we had our excursion uh, in Jamaica where we went river rafting first and then they were to take us to the Blue Hole. Now, if you've never heard of the Blue Hole, it is this absolutely gorgeous place in basically in the middle of the Jamaican jungle. Um, it's kind of waterfall. Wow. That's amazing. Kind of like similar to Dunn's River Falls if you've docked in Ocho Rios. Kind of like that but a little better. So our excursion started out, it was, you know, a smaller group. It wasn't, it wasn't, you know, 40, 50 people. I think there was maybe 15, maybe 20 people on this bus. We're heading towards the river rafting, right? But what the excursion company did is they combined uh, two excursions on the same bus. So there was us that went in, that were to do the river rafting, and then there was another group of people on the same bus that were doing just a beach day and then going to Blue Hole or something else. But they were both heading the same direction. So we drop off the people that are going to the beach day and then the rest of us head on and we go to do the river rafting, okay? But what the only, there was maybe like six, eight of us that went to the river rafting. So our group got smaller, okay? So when we get to the river rafting site, um, Everybody kind of wanted to do inner tubes. You know, they gave us the option. You want to do inner tubes or you want to do rafting? They said inner tubes would be more adventurous. So, of course, everybody chose inner tubes. So, we do that. Our small little party floats down the river, like eight, ten of us, something like that. We float down the river. It was a grand time, okay? We get to the beach where the, the excursion, that part of the excursion ends, and we were due to have lunch for our part of our excursion. Well, we're the only ones that have lunch. I guess there was different ticket options that people could book. So we have our lunch, delicious jerk chicken, some rice, I think some beans, something like that. It was amazing, really, really, really nice. Well, then, you know, the eight, 10 of us, I think maybe even a little bit less, get back on the bus. And we head back to Ocho Rios, or towards Ocho Rios, which was a good 45 minute hour bus ride, okay? Not a short excursion. This was an all day event. Well, apparently, my friend Peter and I were the only ones doing the blue hole part of this excursion on this particular bus. So, we dropped everybody else off at the port in Ocho Rios, and then our driver, great guy, great guy, took us to the blue hole. But it was just me and Peter. Okay, now if you're following along, this is the part in the story where things start to get a little weird. So, we get to the blue hole, okay? Like I said, just me and Peter and our driver. We pull up, and as we're approaching the blue hole, there's a lot of fake blue hole excursions, or excursions right outside of this uh, park entrance to the blue hole, the official blue hole, there's these fake ones that are like literally over the side of a mountain cliff. Okay, sketchy number one. Sketchy number 1,000 really, but sketchy number one for our story. We pull up, and in order to get to the blue hole, if you've ever been to the blue hole where the buses drop you off, you have to go up. I can only describe it as a, a death trap, a literal death trap. This one-way road that winds up and then over a cliff on either side. So it's like literally a mound and a road, okay? And if the bus falls this way, you're over a cliff. If the bus falls this way, you're over a cliff, okay? Sketchy. Sketchy number two, okay? We get there, we go to step off the bus, 
boom and there we are greeted by our tour guide now guys we're in jamaica we are in jamaica okay you pick up one of you pick up one of throw oh, all right okay so our tour guide who <laughs> He sees just me and Peter step off the bus and he runs over, right? And he, you know, he's, he's so excited because he, he sees, you know, that there's just two of us. And I, I could see his wheels turning, but I didn't know why his wheels were turning. And so he takes us down and he shows us where the restroom facilities are. And then he asks us if we need a life jacket and we know how to swim. Okay, cool. He's super chillaxed. You know, we're in Jamaica. Keep that in, keep that in mind. So we go, you know, we're, we're, we're hiking up the, the waterfalls. It's amazing. Such a beautiful destination. Still would highly recommend that you guys go and check it out on your own. But we get up to the top of where we're supposed to go, right? Where the tour has been designated up to the top of the waterfalls that we're allowed to go to, okay? We've been sliding, we've been jumping, et cetera, et cetera. And, uh, you know, on the way up to the top, he's telling us, he's like, he's like, listen, listen, you, you know, you, you take care of me, I'll take care of you. I see you got GoPro. I had a GoPro. I see you got GoPro. I'll show you the most beautiful waterfall in the entire, in the entire jungle. You take care of me, I take care of you. And I responded back, I was like, oh, you know, listen, we're going to totally take care of you. You know, as long as you provide good service throughout the tour, we're going to take care of you. You know, just being straight up, you know, we're basically saying he wants a tip. We're going to tip you, buddy. Just, you know, give us give us a good tour, show us a good time, we'll make sure we take care of you, you know. I think that's the right thing to do. I don't think it's the right thing to do for them to ask for tips, but that, that's a separate video, okay? Back to the story. So we get up to the top of where we're supposed to go, and there's another trail over here, okay? And he says, look. You look up there. Up there, water is crystal clear, it's calm, you can go swimming, you get beautiful, you see all the way to the bottom, nine feet, blah, 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 blah. You know, he's, hy he's hyping it up, right? <sighs> and I'm thinking at this point, this is sketch number three, at this point I'm thinking, we're about to die. We're about to get taken in this jungle, and we are about to die. Okay. Wow. That is beautiful. I don't want to leave him here. He is going to rob me of my of my camera, of any cash that I have, which I didn't have any cash for me, but you know he didn't know that. I had it back in the bus. Or you know, this is about to be it. So I, I look at Peter. I'm like, okay. You know, the, the dude's like walking up. He's like, come, 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 follow me, follow me. And you know, it's clear that we're not supposed to follow him. We are not supposed to do that. And so Peter, I look at Peter and I'm like, listen, listen, you stay down here. And if I'm not back in three minutes, you go find somebody. Don't come up there. Go find somebody. Call 911. Do whatever we got to do. Get the local air force, okay? It's bad. Peter's like, okay, okay, no problem. I'm gonna stand on here. You didn't have to ask me twice. You didn't, you know, I'm gonna stay right here. Okay, so I then entertain this dude, right? We, me and this guy, you know, we're hiking up. I mean, this is slick. You can tell this is not tourists are supposed to go this way. That is amazing. That's why right, man. Is doing it. Man. Blue. As you pass the tree, there's another hole just like this. Wow. Oh, okay. So we go up there, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it was beautiful. But it was pretty much the same of what we've been seeing. Like it was clearer. I could see the bottom, it was calmer. Okay. I could see him, you know, his bloodshot eyes. He kind of looks at me. He's like, ah, you like, you like. And I'm like, yeah, and then he gets like really close to me. Like really, really close to me. 
really close. And he's like, you like, I take care of you, you take care of me. And I'm like, okay, yeah, this was nice. Let's go back down there. That's cool. And I just like start walking that way. He's like, no, no, no. He like gets in front of me. And he like tries to tries to like walk me back up the hill. And I'm like, nah, at this point, like, I'm like, I've had enough. And so we walk down off the hill. I could tell the dude was a little upset that I didn't stay up there. I didn't swim. And so from that point on, he was very kind of, eh. You know, he was okay. I think I mentioned it in our review of uh, the overall ship that that was an eh thing for us. You know, after that, he was, and I mean, it could have been, you know, that could have been why he was mellowed out, but he was very mellowed out the rest of the excursion. But, alas, we ended up making it out in one piece. It was still an awesome, awesome excursion. I would go back in a heartbeat. I just would, you know, go in a larger group because obviously in a larger group, that's not something that they're going to do. You know, they can't, they can't convince everybody to go up there. You know, you may have people with walking challenges or whatever. So I, I think it just was the luck of the, the hand that we pulled that it was just me and Peter. This guy kind of saw that and capitalized on that. But that is the time. <laughs> that I felt like I was almost kidnapped in Jamaica. I would love to hear your guys' stories about any time that you felt sketchy, maybe in one of the ports of call, maybe an excursion wasn't going the way that you thought, the way that you planned, the way that you envisioned. I'd love to hear your story and your comments right down below. And if you're brand new here and you haven't already subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below this video. If you found it entertaining, you found it helpful, you found it funny, guys. That is gonna do it for this one. Until the next one, it's been real, it's been fun, it's been real fun. We'll see you real soon on the high seas.